Channel 5 Network. This is Sportsline. Hey there, Sportsline on your television. Steve Lehman here with you. Glad you are here with us on this Wednesday night on News Channel 5 Plus. Cool show coming up tonight. We have J.J. Mann, Reese Chamberlain from Belmont Basketball here. We'll talk to them for the first half hour or so. Then we'll also visit with some of the Predators coming up in the second half hour. They're back to practice today. They have lots to talk about. Pekka Rene back on the ice today in goal for them. That would be huge if he could come back in the second half of the season. Also, uh, a lot of guys cheering for their respective countries in that locker room at the Olympics right now. Pekka had a, on his Suwami shirt today for the Finns as they knocked off Russia. A lot of USA guys going crazy over the 5-2 win over the Czech Republic. And some Canadians with shorter fingernails tonight after Canada went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Latvia, the 11th seed in the tournament, 1-1 deep into the game until Preds captain Shea Weber blasted a power play goal with about eight minutes to go to give Canada a 2-1 win and set up a U.S.-Canada rematch from Vancouver. The gold medal game there, also the gold medal game in Salt Lake City back in 2002. They'll now meet Friday in the semifinals at 11 in the morning. Vanderbilt with a 21-20 lead at Missouri. At halftime right now tonight, of course, Tennessee with a big win last night over Georgia. But to start the show off tonight, we are talking Belmont basketball. And again, we're happy to be joined by guards, J.J. Mann and Reese Chamberlain. Guys, what's going on? Thanks for coming in. Oh, it's a pleasure to be here. We're, uh, we're glad to be here. Well, it's senior night coming up tomorrow night. So I got to ask you first, J.J., are you ready? I don't know if I'm ready, but I'm excited. Uh, I can't believe it's finally here. Uh, looking back four years ago, you know, I was, was making fun of the guys who were having senior night, and now it feels like time's flown by, but uh, I'm definitely excited. So, Reese, are you guys making fun of him and Blake today? Uh, we're actually kind of glad he's leaving. <laughs> no, no, I'm looking forward to it for him. I know it's a special night, and it's going to mean a lot for all of our seniors. He's a bit of a character, as people know him would know. What do you expect from him in terms of the emotions? Are we going to see waterworks from him tomorrow night? Uh, no, I think he'll take care of business like he always does, go about it in a business-like manner and just play as hard as he can like he always does. JJ, when you're in the middle of a season like this, and obviously you have a whole other week of the regular season coming up next week, then you've got the conference tournament, hopefully a postseason tournament beyond that. Can you really appreciate this moment and allow it to sink in, or do you have to sort of have that steely focus that it's just another basketball game? You know, I mean, it is just another another game. It's an important OVC conference game that we need to win. So, you know, it, it is, you know, it would be great to be honored and, you know, Blake, Drew, and I, you know, to get a little recognition, but it's really all, you know, it's all about the team, all about Belmont, and all about us getting a, a victory and just continuing on to the rest of the season, you know, maybe – you know, a couple months after the season, hopefully after the dance and everything, then you know, maybe look back on it and really let it sink in. Four years of your career, you guys have won conference championships in the Atlantic Sun. You've won conference championships in the OVC, conference tournament championships, three NCAA tournament appearances. You had the amazing win over North Carolina earlier this season, which is probably the best regular season win in school history. What do you look back on and think – that's my most proud moment in four years. Wow, uh, man, I don't know. There's there really are so many, and it all is just it's totally of the team. I mean, winning three regular season and three conference championships in a tournament like every that whole process has really just been amazing. And I mean, each championship game was just awesome and like you know riding back on the bus and watching it on sports center like it was you got prouder and prouder every single time and and this year just you know with all the doubt that people had um coming into the season just the the guys that we have that came together and we've worked our tails off and gotten to where we are now and put in a good situation like i mean to top it off this year and win another one regular season and tournament would you know probably be even you know even maybe a little more proud in the past three I think the thing that's most amazing to me is every single year, it seems like your team is very different. It's built and constructed in a different way. What is it about Rick Bird? What is it about this program that has allowed you guys to continue the same level of success doing it a different way every season? Yeah. 
I mean, a lot of it is is Coach Bird. Honestly, he's an unbelievable coach, and you know, he he recruits the kind of guys that he knows are going to buy into the system. And I mean, obviously, the system works. Um, he's got the numbers and you know the wins to back it up. And you know, each team is different, but the concepts and everything like that are the same. And it's just it's whether the guys are willing to buy in or not. And you know, that's that's usually honestly whenever we struggle or whenever we're not playing well, it's when we don't do what he tells us to do. Um, you know, I'm I'm a victim of that sometimes for <laughs> sure, but um, it really you know it, it it does all fall back on him. And you know it is you know he's big on team chemistry and camaraderie. You know, the more that we come together and the more that we play harder and play for each other is when we're most successful. Reese, one of the things about this year's team is how JJ has really emerged as kind of the the scoring star in a lot of ways. That wasn't his role the last couple of years. How has he been able to evolve his game? Uh, I mean, coming into the season. Uh, we lost Ian and Karan. That's obviously a ton of scoring from last year's team. So we knew someone was going to have have to step up. And obviously, he was coming into the season going to be our best scorer. So we we all kind of turned to him and knew he could handle it. You guys talk about Coach Bird and what he means to the program, and that the the track record speaks for itself. I, I think a moment that I saw a couple weeks ago, and this may be a bad memory for you, is in the second half of that game. You, you know what I'm talking about. You leave. Uh, the, the Fields. guard, you yeah. leave Dexter Fields, oh, thank yeah. you, a wide open for three, <laughs> Ooh, he man. drills it, and he benches you for about five, six minutes over there in the second half, you come back in, <laughs> and you play considerably better, you guys go on to get a huge win, and it's the reason you're in first place right now in the OVC, really to both of you, what does it say about him that he's willing to do that, take his best player out of the game for six minutes and a key stretch to stick to a principle that you you got to follow? Um, to me, I kind of think it just says like the team comes first. No matter who's playing well, if you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing, then Coach Bird is going to make sure he puts the team first and puts you on the bench and teach you a lesson. Did well, you learn uh, your lesson? Oh, I learned my lesson. I've been and I've been trying to forget that memory, but I, so I don't really appreciate you bringing that up. <laughs> Definitely never going to leave him open again if we uh, play them again. But yeah, it was. I mean, it was a great lesson, and you know, I wasn't playing as well as I needed to play, and he, you know, he. Let me have it, but you know he coached me. He didn't, you know, he told me what I need to do, and you know, I sat and you know, had a little time to think. And uh, a couple other coaches just, you know, came up to me and teammates said, you know, come on, get ready to go. And uh, so yeah, when I went back in, my mindset was, you know, I was more ready, and and uh, it it turned out pretty well for us. He played really well down the stretch. You guys got a big win to move into sole possession of first place in the OVC after that one. Let's go to the phones now. By the way, the line's open 737-7767. If you have a question for these guys, you can call in. We'll go to Jay. Jay, thanks for calling. What's your question for the guys? Good evening, fellas. Uh, first of all, I want to wish y'all the best. Um, and I just wondered how y'all are enjoying the OBC. I know there's a lot of great competition. A lot of teams are closer. And also, what's it like playing in the Battle of the Boulevard? Now, hang up. Good question. First one about the OVC. You guys obviously dominated the Atlantic Sun the last few years and then moved into the OVC last year. How has that changed, if anything, what you guys do? It has changed a lot with, uh, I mean, obviously the locations of the team have been different. And, I mean, I think the fan support both at home and away games have been better. Um, just kind of, you know, teams and teams being closer kind of builds bigger rivalries. Um, but also, you know, it's been a lot of more hard work for the coaches and just with scouting and stuff, you know, they kind of had the A-Sun figured out and they had to learn a bunch of new schools and new plays and new players. Um, but they've done just an unbelievable job of getting us prepared. And uh, OVC has been awesome. I mean, we've enjoyed um, being in it, and it's a great conference, and there's a lot of good teams. Reese, did it mean anything to you guys to be able to transition the way you did from the A-Sun, winning the title there in your last couple years, and then going to the OVC and not skipping a beat and winning the title there too? Uh, yes, sir, a whole lot. I know uh, coming into it, a lot of teams looked at us kind of maybe like we dominated that league, but it might not have been as good from top to bottom so it, it was really important for us to come in and kind of set a tone that we could compete with whoever and what about the battle of the boulevard what are those two games every year like for you guys and has that changed at all now that you guys are in the ovc as opposed to conference rivals with lipscomb it definitely changed i mean it changed a little bit not having the conference implications but i mean nonetheless i mean looking back on this year that first game that we played at their place was you know one of the more intense games we've had all year and it had a conference championship feel to it um, and obviously you know 
you add uh, old Mr. Alexander and Mr. Eastrom um, over there, and that adds a little extra to it. Um, so, I mean, it, re it really is still a very strong and fun um, and intense rivalry, and uh, it's definitely something all the players look forward to playing in every year. And you guys see each other often, you know, just <laughs> going out to grab a bite to eat on the weekends, don't you? I saw, I saw a couple of them running today on Belmont Boulevard. <laughs> Not very fast, but they were they were running. It's still named Belmont Boulevard, at, at least Not for this right. year after the two wins. So uh, we got to take a break. We will come back more with J.J. Mann, Reese Chamberlain. Stay with us. You're watching Sportsline on News Channel 5+. Plus.